What's up Stans, this is John. We're back with more reactions. Now on this channel, I would like to pride myself on the, on a reactor that listens to not just the mainstream stuff, but just some stuff that, you know, that I might not know about or maybe it's not always in your face um, on the mainstream and everything. So I've been looking for uh, a couple of rappers that I can react to. I did kick around the idea of reacting to G Dragon and I probably will end up doing that once I get some of these other series that I'm doing a little bit down because uh, I have quite a few handful six series that I'm finishing up so once I get you know kind of done with that I can dip into dip into that I did try to react to some other uh, debut artists and things like that uh, you know and if I didn't like it and I really couldn't find anything positive to say about it I I just didn't public. I didn't edit it and release it um, because you know I'd like to try to say something positive about everything that I react to. Um, I'm not going to say that everything is fire when it's not, um, but I will try to say something good about something that everything that I react to tries to kind of give a, a, a honest unbiased reaction so we're going to be doing mc sniper and uh he's been around since 2002 uh was a contestant on uh show show me the money uh so uh he released a new comeback as called uh, loosely translated uh winter is coming or winter is already here i'm sorry i just totally <laughs> changed it to a game of throne great game of throne reference loosely translated is winter is already here uh it might mean something else but that's just the translation that i got so we're gonna get into this reaction as always like share and subscribe to the channel it's important um and we're gonna get right into this reaction mc sniper I'm <laughs> Gakum <laughs> Hey, 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 Gakum, I meant that in Yongyang Shichu. Hey, Bakaliga Pido, hey. Push the county out in the bar. I didn't know, but I'm a chunky. Unga Pio is chugger now. Keep a mama and him to a hamke. Chunk my county out in the bar. Old and hand on what to hand out in the day. But that's some ground up to the Kunyang Nadule. Your old home, your Kunyang Olgan Nadule. Happy New Year.
you know, it's from the first time, you know, it's the first time I'm listening to him. And, you know, rap, rap and hip hop, you know, there's so many different flows and so many different styles out there that, you know, whenever, you know, you get someone who is kind of, you know, embracing their style and really making a musical art form out of it. Um, I've never heard any of his previous stuff, so I don't know if he sounds like this all the time. But it really feels like in this song that he just took that that ba- that that track that he was that he was rapping to, and really tailored it to the track, and you know even offering a little bit of vocal stylings in there as well, and the flow just kind of just stayed with the beat. And it was a nice flow. Um, there was no English uh, subtitles to to it, so I, you know, didn't want to focus on the words. But rap is so much more than just the words that are just being said. It's how they're being delivered and the musicality that's coming across. And regardless of any language, good flow, good talent, and rapping comes across, even if you don't understand the words that the artist is actually saying. And a previous artist that I had reacted to, the, what I had alluded to that I reacted to and didn't edit or release it because I just didn't like it. I just didn't think it was good at all. Um, this was in stark contrast to that. Um, stripped down, bare, just give me a, a music that I can rhyme and flow to. And looks like he wrote the song to this to wrote the lyrics to the song which is kind of you think well don't doesn't everybody do that no not a lot of times a lot of times lyrics are written to a song um and, but rap lyrics are kind of you know written and then a beat might be applied to it uh and then maybe tweaked afterwards to fit the flow and this one seems like it organically came from the music so i liked it i liked it it was it was cool it was soothing it was almost like an R&B flow. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Have you ever heard of this guy before? I know he's been around for a long time, um, but uh, you know, didn't just like seem to me like to be in the mainstream or someone that was constantly popping up, like names like G Dragon and stuff like that. So um, as always, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Happy New Year.